Fine. Speaking of which, it's hard to imagine a time when D.C. didn't have some of the worst traffic in the nation. Instead, it was a city filled with the hum of a few classic automobiles, and the streetcar ruled the road until 1962. In today's Extra Mile report, 50 years later, D.C. streetcars are coming back to town. Those were the days when taking a joyride meant a whole different thing in Washington. And it was D.C. streetcars which transported residents across the city for nearly a century. Joe Kuntz worked as a streetcar checker in 1941, earning $90 a month. They had uh, supervisors who would come by where you were working uh, on that particular day and give you your assignment for the next day. So I didn't actually go to, to an office. I was strictly uh, out on the street. Back then, streetcars originated from car barns like the one located at 15th and East Capitol Street, where D.C. native Andy Ockershausen grew up riding with his grandfather, a career conductor. So my grandfather had been a retired conductor, and he would take me, and uh, we would spend all day at Glen Echo, and we'd have free tickets. they give you a big block of tickets. It was a wonderful experience, great summers. Mayor Vincent Gray says the good old days are coming back to D.C. this winter. Uh, this is a very exciting time for our city. Uh, I think the streetcars will complement the growth and development that we're seeing in the city. I think also it will continue to make us a unique presence. The first phase of the train will go up to the top of the Hopscotch Bridge at Union Station and extend to Benning Road along H Street. The cars will carry between 120 and 140 passengers with eight stops along this first route. The goal is to return to a time of community, with streetcars being a common thread tying D.C. residents and businesses together. It was very nostalgic, and I do remember it vividly. I love the streetcar. You went everywhere in it. Well, it's the only way you could get around if you didn't have a car. And most of my early days, there were uh, bad times, and we didn't have a car. But I never missed it because I had the streetcar. You were just a little boy when you used to ride the streetcar. Could you have ever imagine that you would be the one to bring it back? I had no idea. That <laughs> Pretty exciting, guys. Now, the first streetcar is going to be placed tonight at North Capitol Street and 5th Street and H Street. So between North Cap and 5th yeah, mm -hmm, Street. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite ceremonious, actually. I believe the mayor's going to be there. And it's going to take a couple of hours to take it off the truck and wow. place it on the Hopscotch Bridge. Now, there's a problem with this, of course, as always. They've created these white lines, which are the dividers yes, right. for the yes, parking. Right, right. And ticketing has already begun. Mm -hmm. If you even have your car on that line, you will be ticketed or even towed, right. possibly. What are the streets that you've got to worry about? Is it H Street specifically? Right now or is it, it's H yeah. Street, yeah. right yeah. behind yeah. Union Station, right. where okay. the Hopscotch yep. Bridge is and yep. extends. I believe it's going to be eight stops eventually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already got parking problems. You've got now the streetcar there, then the regular traffic, and what about bike? and pedestrians and then the businesses and businesses. the answer is it yeah. could be quite squeezed be squeeze. we will yeah. see you know of course it's just going to be tested for the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. there won't be any passengers yet but once that begins we're going to have to take a look at that could be good for business could you know it you could think. be good I mean, for because business, if you don't hoping. have to worry about parking with the the car then that would be nice to just hop on and hop off that's right. the whole point i wonder is not what to it was like the when car. the real street car was rolling and you had cars and bikers there, there was that many there was, cars. There was also one tenth of the people that's there were it. exactly All right, that's we got to leave it there very good thank right. you monica Thanks. you're welcome 452 in today's health alert playing contact sports could damage your brain even without